if you truly want success without focusing on these sign energies your success will be limited Hello, Namaskar and Arrah to all my friends from your friend Astrology and Guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance Firstly, I'll start with a story that one of my friends told me He and his wife, they work in the same organization And usually during the lunch time, the boys, the men They club together, they sit together to enjoy their afternoon meals And they also the lunch I mean and they also discuss so far what has happened, what's going on in their life and so on. The women also did the same. The women collected together rather than sitting as couple. They would sit with the boys and the girls. One day, the boy or the man asked his wife that you girls seem to be always having a good time. You are sitting at the end of the cafeteria in the place where you have lunch and with your group together with the women. But you are at the other end. But I can see that you seem to be having a good time. You women seem to be having a good time all the time, laughing and um, you know, always uh, very jovial. So what do you guys talk about? So the woman, the wife said, we talk the same things as you men talk about. So the man asked, so do you talk about adventure sports, bungee jumping, hiking, trekking, formula sports, football, and the latest gizmos, the, the social environment, especially politics, um, boxing. Is this what you talk about? So the woman says, no, this is not what we talk about. We talk about different stuff. Now, please, I, this is not a gender bias story. This is something that the man told me. So I'm just narrating the story to you. But what it brings up is that there are certain flavors in our life which work Bases are genders to a certain extent. Things are changing now, so don't um, you know think that I'm gender biased. I think that the world is evolving, but it will take some time, and there will be some things which will remain the same. Women supermodels, I think, will keep getting more paid than the men supermodels, and maybe till you know the gender equality strongly comes in, maybe the men football players, maybe or the men sports people will probably get slightly higher maybe ad earnings may not be in the sports while playing for the sport they may get the same earning but maybe from ad companies they may get a better remuneration a better earning also so that is definitely a part of our lives but why am i narrating this story to you see in my family we are three me and my two boys now okay the elder one is now married he works in a good it company and so forth but over the last seven or eight years what was the discussion around the dinner table? Three boys in the house, what do you think? So, the generally the discussion was around what the man was telling his wife. That is this what you talk about? Now, it's not only about the organ between our legs, pardon me for my language, because of which a certain element of discussion happens or the discussion goes in a certain direction. It is not always the case and there comes the difference. Many times, for example, I'm not a foodie at all. So I'm not somebody who will talk a lot about food, what are the good places to eat this or that and where do you need to go. So I'm least interested in food. So I'm the least contributing factor when food is being discussed. Then my elder son, he is a foodie but he's not so interested in cooking for example. He doesn't like to cook so much. He likes to eat good food. He doesn't mind going traveling at some distance with his friends, with the social network to eat some good stuff. I may not do that i may not travel 50 miles to have some but my elder son may do that but he may not cook so much but my younger son who's in his teenage years now he is somebody who's both a foodie and he also likes to cook so the discussion many times when food is being discussed i am the least contributing factor then my elder son may contribute a little bit of where some food is served well and where it is tasty and all but my younger son may also contribute more about how certain things are made, why some things are good at a certain restaurant, what is the process, what are the ingredients they put in and so forth. So there is some difference surely 
irrespective of the gender because of some underlying energies in a horoscope and they come from the construct of a horoscope and not anything else we know that the zodiac has 12 signs but the 12 signs also have nakshatras built into them and whichever sign whichever house whichever planet is showing the highest dignity showing its high strength will obviously make its presence felt the most so what is it that drives the our lives what are the energies which are the foundational energies now each one of us may have separate energies showing up in ascendant by virtue of what dignity they are in and all however there are some foundational energies which are present in all of us men women whoever and we knowing those foundational energies is very very important because from those foundational energies and where those foundational energies lie will come our, our opportunity of getting higher success a possibility of getting higher success a probability of getting higher success now many people many astrologers in their youtube channel come out with certain secrets this is the secret this is the secret this is a secret nobody knows now i feel any secret that you come out with has to come up with a certain research which has gone there should be certain maths which goes into it there should be a construct of the zodiac which goes in apart from the analysis that you do and if you are not able to back it with a strong foundational reason why you are saying that not just a mythological story but the construct of the zodiac itself how is the house constructed or made up how is the sign constructed how is the navamsas constructed what are the degrees what are the strengths without giving a reason for that and you saying this is the secret may not make much difference now i am not somebody who will start a separate patreon channel saying that some special education will be given to you if you join my patreon and if you make it a paid thing i am not going to do that whatever is my knowledge is all here if at all i start some classes later on i may just put everything on youtube i will never have a separate or at least i don't have any plans to have a separate paid channel or special membership where you get special attention that's not my intention my intention is to just give out to you whatever i have so this is a research which i have done after a lot of analysis after looking at the construct of the zodiac not just some secret given to be my my guru or i have thought about it or my research it has to be that it has to be backed by the construct of the zodiac it has to be backed by maths it has to be backed by strong foundational theories that you have and you should be able to give it to people as well so now how are the foundational energies which are made up in the zodiac now we know that there are four types of houses dharma artha kama and moksha now what are the dharma signs the dharma signs are aries leo and sagittarius and usually the first house the fifth and the ninth house are the dharma bhavas similarly we are, we are talking about the kal purush kundli but in anybody's horoscope the first fifth and the ninth houses constitute your dharma where your duty lies where your responsibility lies but the aries the leo and the sagittarius signs energies also constitute your dharma the dharma energies so we know that the dharma energies lie in aries leo and sagittarius however to do your duty we need both aries sign energies which means the will power the motivation the go getting spirit the killer instinct to be able to go and get it but to get what from where that is given by the leadership the responsibility the accountability which the leo sign gives you and that's why we have the dharma trikona the artha trikona and the moksha trikona and, and so on or the kama trikona so in the dharma trikona the three houses which constitute dharma the three signs which constitute dharma aries is about the go getting spirit leo sign is about showing the leadership showing the direction showing the guidance and sagittarius energy is about how to do it using your education to do it using your experience a situational experience to go and get it to go to be able to go and achieve it and that's why it's very important that you are able to use all the three energies however if you see the construct of the zodiac itself there is always one zodiac sign energy which concentrates all the energies in itself for example if you look at the construct of any sign every sign has nine namamsa parts so when you look at the av sign you will see that the av sign 
first namamsa starts with the av sign the last the last or the ninth part or the ninth namamsa of av sign lies in the sagittarius sign but the fifth namamsa is the center namamsa of these nine parts and the center namamsa of the av sign is the leo sign then move to the leo sign when you move to the leo sign and divide it into nine parts the first part of leo again starts with the av sign the last namamsa of aries or the ninth part of the aries of the leo sign lies in the sagittarius namamsa and the middle namamsa again lies or the fifth pada lies in the or the fifth namamsa lies in the leo sign then move to the sagittarius sign divide the sagittarius into nine parts the first part of or the first namamsa of sagittarius is again the aries sign the last part or the last namamsa is again the sagittarius sign and the fifth namamsa or the middle namamsa is again the leo sign what this means is among all the three dharma signs aries leo and sagittarius the concentration of energies lies in each of the three signs lies in the leo namamsa and that's why the leo namamsa or where your leo sign lies in your namamsa becomes very very important then go to the arthabhavas arthabhavas are what taurus virgo and capricorn so now when you go and see the arthabhavas start with the first one taurus and see which is the first part the first part of the first namamsa of the taurus sign starts with the capricorn sign because the last uh, namamsa in the av sign one sign before and with sagittarius so the first namamsa of taurus starts with the capricorn sign it starts with the capricorn sign and ends with another artha sign which is the virgo sign but which is the middle namamsa of the taurus sign the middle namamsa of taurus sign is again the taurus sign energy itself then move to the virgo sign the first namamsa again starts with capricorn ends with virgo middle namamsa still the taurus sign then move to the capricorn sign look at the first namamsa of the capricorn sign it starts with capricorn ends with virgo and the middle namamsa is the taurus sign so the taurus sign has the concentration of all energies of the artha bhava the bhavas or the houses which constitute the ability to make money remuneration so it's important because taurus sign constitutes a livelihood virgo sign constitutes where you're putting in the effort the discipline that you're putting in and capricorn sign denotes you are karma denotes your kriya man karma where you do actions to be able to earn it but if your taurus sign is not strong then your other signs may not be able to give you as much success unless the taurus sign is very important so the taurus sign in your navamsa chart becomes very important then move to the kama bhavas gemini libra and aquarius you will find that where does the first navamsa of the Kama Bhava start. For example, which is the first Navamsa of the Gemini sign? You will find that the first Navamsa of the Gemini sign starts with the Libra sign and ends with the Gemini sign. Starts with the Libra sign, ends with the Gemini sign, and the middle Navamsa is the Aquarius sign. Then move to the next Kama Bhava, which is the Libra sign. Again, starts with the Libra sign. ends with the gemini sign is the ninth namamsa and the center namamsa aquarius then go to the aquarius sign divide it into nine parts first namamsa again libra last namamsa the ninth namamsa is again gemini middle namamsa is aquarius which means the concentration of all kama bhavas energies are all lie in the aquarius sign whether it is the gemini sign libra sign or the aquarius sign the center namamsa is aquarius then move to the moksha bhavas cancer scorpio and pisces sign first part of cancer where does it start the first part of cancer the first namamsa of cancer starts with cancer ends with pisces center namamsa is scorpio then go to the scorpio sign start with cancer ends with pisces center namamsa is scorpio go to the pisces sign divided into nine parts the first namamsa is again cancer last namam sign again pisces the middle namam sign is again scorpio sign energy which means the concentration of all the moksha sign energies lie in the scorpio sign why because the cancer sign will give you the empathy the understanding surely to understand people but without having it in the analysis with the scorpio sign represent you will not 
actually know what the challenge is, what the problem is. And that's why many times Scorpio sign people have a very strong intuition where something is going wrong, what I need to more delve into and you'll be able to extract the secrets, know a problem deeply and then you'll be able to solve it. And the Pisces sign energy, energy is about giving, being optimistic even in the most trying of circumstances and giving up, doing, serving even at your own cost because the Pisces sign is the final moksha sign as well. But the concentration of energies lies in the Scorpio sign. So the zodiac construct itself tells you that the concentration of all the fire sign energies and the dharma, your responsibility lies in Leo. All the concentration of energies of Artha, where you will make money from, where your remuneration will come from, where your savings will come from, where your financial security will come from, will come from the sign, where a house, where the Taurus sign is lying in your Namamsa. And then all your karma sign energy, the concentration of all of it, social responsibility, social causes, how well you are connected to the social network, your ability to reach the masses, that gives you the highest success from your wishes and desires with the karma sign represents, it all lies in the Aquarius sign. So whichever house your Aquarius sign lies in the Navamsa is based where you will get the most social mass success and the Moksha sign energies. All the concentration of energies in the Scorpio sign. So whichever house your Scorpio sign is lying in the Navamsa is where you get the highest ability to not only understand life deeply, understand and solve the problems, the biggest challenges, the biggest obstacles of life deeply as well as your ability or the highest ability to give up and get moksha. So do check where your these four signs lie in your Navamsa and which houses they lie, those houses will constitute or give you an ability to get the greatest of successes. You will also find that your biggest opportunity will come from those houses where these four signs lie in. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius in your Navamsa, whichever houses they lie, those houses will get activated again and again. The biggest challenges will come from there. The biggest opportunities will also come from there. The biggest of successes will also come from whichever houses these four signs lie. Why in the Navamsa? Because the Navamsas are the concentration of energies where the concentration of each of these sign energies lie. So, one thing is surely there, the Kendra houses of the Navamsa are very very important which are specific to your horoscope, which are specific to your zodiac sign or the ascendant sign that you are born in. But irrespective of whichever is your ascendant, wherever, whichever houses these four signs lie in, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius, there you will find, you will be able to get the biggest of traction there. Biggest of movements, movement there, biggest of dynamism there, and biggest chance of success also there. Now, if these four houses in the Navamsa are very strong, their dignity is very strong, their ruling planets are very strong, there are no bad aspects on them, there are no bad conjunctions on them, there are no planets lying in them which are inimical planets or not too many inimical forces lying or malefic forces lying, then it is almost a very strong possibility, higher probability, if these four signs, whichever houses they lie in, those houses will give you the biggest successes, the biggest opportunities and the biggest success of even leaving a strong legacy behind and getting moksha, especially if they are in good dignity, there are no malefic signs or malefic forces there, no malefic planets placed there and their own lords are not in bad dignity. So friends, do look at what your D1 chart is, what, where are the strengths lying, also look in, in the Navamsa, what are the Kendra houses in the Navamsa, but pay strongest attention to where these four signs lie in the Navamsa, which houses they become, where their lords are placed and so these planets which rule each of these signs, Venus, Mars, Sun and Saturn become very very important because these are the four planets which control or rule these four signs which is the Taurus sign, the Leo sign, the Scorpio sign and the Aquarius sign. So pay attention to these houses, see what opportunities they are giving you, what are the dignities of the houses, by what your placement of planets in them, aspects on them, dignity of the planets which rule these four signs which is Mars, Venus, Sun and Saturn and see where these opportunities, where things have happened in your life and you will surely be able to see a certain tangent, a certain flavor in your life where whichever houses these four signs lie in, they have 
in some way or the other thrown up different possibilities different challenges also for you different karma also which you need to do a karmic debt also which you need to pay off pay attention to these signs in which houses they lie pay attention to the ruling planets pay attention to the malefics and try and overcome those forces because there lies the greatest strength and the biggest opportunity that the zodiac gives so friends like this video share this video and please reach out to me at the links given below if you are looking for a personal consultation for me until some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide is signing off ciao